and welcome. It is I, your songwriting partner, your co-producer, and as always, your friend, Joe CB. And guys, happy Monday. And Monday is our class that we like to call the mechanics of songwriting. Um, the mechanics of songwriting is when we look at a song that I, you know, of my choosing, I, I do a little research, look at songs, and I, I try to pick a song that's interesting, and we sort of listen to it, break it down, listen to the vocal component, listen to, you know, um, the music itself and listen to the lyrics, the melody, then we analyze the production. What makes this song so, you know, what makes this song so exciting, you know? And um, so tonight, the song that I picked, um, I was, well, I was listening to so many, so many different songs. I listened to, you know, the top pop songs of Billboard, listened to that. And there was a lot of good stuff on there, a lot of really good stuff. And then um, just was listening on YouTube to just different things, just stuff I was pulling up, like, uh, you know, like guitar oriented music as well as pop, some older rock that I was listening to. I'm, I'm sort of swinging back into some rock these days. Um, and I love rock. I mean, that's what my bread was buttered for years, uh, playing rock and roll, you know, playing hard rock, you know, on, you know, in a band. And, you know, that's, that was my history. So, of course, I have roots in that. Um, but, you know, the, you know, a lot of what I do in this, in this particular, uh, video series is, um, look at current pop and we listen to it and analyze it. It's not always pop. Sometimes it's, uh, you know, it could be a lot of different, kinds of music so it's not just one kind of music so um you know and I love to see how you know I love to see um I like what there's a couple like um sites where you can you know um download tracks individually you know like stems of songs that are currently popular or like just hear the music versions without the singing they're called stems for anybody who doesn't know that they, they call that a stem so, um, you can listen to, you know, you can listen to a karaoke track, but it's not going to be the same quality as if you listen to the actual master track of whatever song you're trying to listen to. I really try to get the master track so that I can hear, you know, the music without the vocals or even listen to the, the vocals a cappella, which means by themselves with no music. And you can find those on YouTube as well. I love trying to find those. They're really fun. It's one of my hobbies, kind of like it's one of my geeky ho uh, hobbies that I like to do. You know, um, I'll type in sometimes, you know, Katy Perry song, uh, you know, whatever song, acapella, you know, just the vocal track. And I'll find it. You know, a lot of times I'll find it. So I love listening to that, you know, just to, to hear the quality of the vocal microphone and the performance. I love all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, it's like to show you the inner workings of how a song is put together. Well, anyway, um, I'm going through songs uh, today and through the weekend. And I caught myself getting caught up in this block of a block means like, you know, several songs of one artist. So I'm listening to a bunch of stuff, a big different, a lot of variety. And then I listened to one song from an artist. And then on their YouTube, there was more songs from the same artist. So I started to listen. And I really, you know, you, you forget sometimes how good some artists and their material are when you listen to it in the context of their work over the years. So Tonight's um, artist that I'm honoring in this class is, I've and I've I've had them on before, but Alice in Chains. And why do I love Alice in Chains? I, I will tell you why I love Alice in Chains. They have all the components that I find attractive in music. And those those qualities are they have amazing harmonies amazing harmonies they're very guitar heavy which you know i'm a guitar player that's my passion so i love hearing like really great guitar driven music performed 
in an amazing quality and the songwriting Alice in Chains has a very dark sound but their harmonies almost remind me of Crosby, Stills and Nash but singing like dark songs yeah it's really you know um really interesting I really love their brand if, if, you, if we can call it that. So the song I'm featuring tonight is a song by them. Uh, it's, one, it's off their later album. The song is called Maybe. Now, they, they use this song in a movie, but I didn't, I'm not going to play the music video of that because it's visual. I just want you to really read the lyrics because the lyrics are, you know, I have the lyric video with the song. And I really like doing that, presenting that way so that you guys can hear a song without a visual. I just want you to read the lyrics and listen to the song. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Alice in Chains and the song Maybe. Enjoy. Long gone the days of summer In a late stretch is longer
What did you guys think of that song? Those harmonies are insane good. They're just so good. The key changes, the the textures between the acoustic guitars and the electric guitars are just beautiful. There's so many, there's so much depth in the mix. It's just incredible. I really, I hope you guys like that song. Um, I am such an Alice in Chains fan and I just got so pulled back into them this week. I have just been smitten with their albums. I mean, like I've been constantly listening to them this week. So I couldn't help but bring them to the class. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Let's talk about it when I see you guys on my Zoom class live on Tuesdays. Anyway, guys, I love you all. Have a wonderful evening. This is your songwriting partner, your co-producer, and as always, your friend, Joe CB. I love you guys. Be safe. And I will see you guys on the Zoom class. Peace.